got a TV today. We're going to do a TDM on it's an LG CRT curved screen. Still works, but you know what? Just nobody wants these things anymore. So let's take it apart for part. There we go. A couple of speakers. The tube, which you have to be very careful around here. This holds a lot of voltage. We need to discharge that before we play, which you do from here to this ground. This one's more basic than the other one I pulled apart. It's only got one board. That's old of it. There's a few heat sinks in there couple of caps coils there's not much to this one at all all right we'll we'll discharge this And that, that earths out the tube, discharges it and keeps it discharged because it can build up a bit of charge just sitting there. Alright. Comes off. The next exciting thing. We're gonna break the CRT's vacuum. I'm just going to do that by tapping this glass. There it goes. That's held under vacuum. If you break it accidentally, especially the old ones, they can, they implode, like Pretty cool. Just crack that a real little bit because it's going very, very slow. But that's okay. There it goes. Oh. Into the void. Well, there's their crack. That came off really well. Looks like it might have got a bit hot here. See, it's a brown colour. One big cap there, 330 microfarad. <clears throat> just make sure it's discharged. So not, not to shock today. Got some caps and coils, big 5 watt resistor, heat sinks, a relay. Cap switch, fuse, there's a few bits and pieces we can use there. I'm looking at it. This would be the power supply and the switch. We've got four diodes there for the bridge rectifier. And that's the output cap, or the filter cap. Two more big diodes here, probably feeding this with high voltage. 
little daughter board. So that, the other TV I took apart, I think it was a Sony. Or a Philips. It, had, it was a flat screen one though, not a curved screen like this one. And it had, it had about three of these in it, three of these boards. Or I could be wrong, I could be mixing up, they could have been out of a um, rear, rear pro, rear screen projection TV that I pulled apart a long time ago. Ooh, those bad boys there I think are very accurate resistors, those thin film ones. Got a few chips. Can't actually, can't see a clock there anywhere though, so there must be microprocessors, there's some buttons. Anyway, we will pull that apart later and get parts of it. Or the parts pin. That's the magic eye setting, so when it takes more or less light, it increases the brightness of the TV automatically. So that would be to calibrate it. LDR resistor, two caps, a pot, and the cable. Easy. hard to get rid of, but we have something for that one. Last one of these I burnt, <laughs> and believe me, these things go up like stupidly big. Like, it's like burning, it's highly flammable. One, once it starts burning, it goes to town. And this one's gonna be harder to cut up. There we go, we've cut down that TV to parts, we'll harvest the bits off this, what we can, and the rest will go to the garbage. But at least we save some parts. Hmm, suction cup for me. I can keep those, but like nipple cover, and put a little tassel on there. Green and focus. Cool. Not much there to to harvest though. That's it. All we've got to do is get rid of the tube. That's the only thing we can't really throw out easily. No. Oh. There's the remote as well, but man. Ooh, batteries. Um, man, these are like 
nothing. You can get these at second hand shops and tip shops and op shops. There's just box like it'd be just a box of remotes. Just not really just don't really need it. It's heavy though. We can have a look inside, what the hell? system of clips which a couple broke I was rough I wasn't trying to be save it Ta da that's it control IC looks like a couple of little voltage regulators there but oh they could be they'd be transistors I'd say some resistors, the keypad, and an IR LED. Cap. Another cap, maybe. No, that's not a cap, it's something else. Not sure what that is. Pretty basic stuff. Whoa! May sit on there. Pick the buttons. Crazy. It's sticky too. Everything's sticky in this TV. There's nothing in there at all. It's not really, not even worth taking apart. Got some batteries, but you know, they're not even. Oh, they are alkaline, so they're alright. Bin, bin, bin. So, that's it. Pretty easy tear down, really. Not really much to see. I'm excited to get some of the parts off that, but uh, that didn't take long at all. Didn't take up near as much room now. I'll take some other bits and pieces along here I want to go through as well. Clear off this bench a bit, you can see it's full. I'll get some more stuff to pick up soon. So, very good. Hope you enjoyed watching me pull apart a TV. I had fun. Did you have fun?